let me now move towards the, uh, the marks distribution now selection of b1 and b2 uh, uh, the part b part the architecture planning that is even more crucial in the recent past from this year so what, the reasons for that how should you select we will discuss in the end in the summary part but first let me focus on the marks distribution two important pointers two important stats statistics which you need to know with respect to the marks distribution of the gate examination in the recent years is firstly with respect to numerical questions now there is a lot of uh, talking going around that the number of numericals are very less numericals are completely removed from gate paper you need not learn numericals so some students are having got there are there are people who are of this ideology of spreading such misinformation be informed there is no major shift in the question paper in terms of number of numericals asked in the paper if you look into i i am uh, I, I agree that the number of numericals in k 2023 are less compared to the previous year but that doesn't mean it will be that way forever so let me just give you a small point of uh, information regarding this to have a better understanding if you look into past three years why am i taking only past three years because the change of the change of the question paper structure happened three years ago so if you look into gate 2023 the number of numerical questions are only eight questions and when i say numerical i'm talking only about the core topic that is part a and part b i'm not considering general aptitude because general aptitude uh, there are numericals also in the form of mcq itself so i'm talking only about nat numerical answer type questions where you need to type in your answer as a value uh, which are numerical uh, based questions in 2023 including part a and b b that is uh, b1 or b2 whichever you select then there are two numericals from part b the remaining six are from part a so there were a total of eight numerical questions in 2023 question paper in 2022 question paper there were a huge number of numerical 16 questions and the year before it 2021 question paper the number of numericals were 12 questions so you see there is no major shift or trend which you see there is always this deviation so on an average you will get 12 numerical answer type questions that's an average number of questions it can be plus or minus four like four questions less than 12 were asked in this year's 2023 2022 more than that 16 numericals also were asked so there's no major shift in the pattern of the question paper always so it is the, the uh, there are less number of numericals in gate 2023 that doesn't mean there will be less numericals forever in the gate exam the deviation which you saw it is in line with the deviation which always happens in the gate examination regarding every aspect see it, it, sometimes some chapter some subjects do not have any questions so, uh, and from the same subject just next year you will have five to six marks of questions that also has happened so all these deviations are within the deviation range of the gate pattern so do not worry do not get into the misinformation and do not uh, don't think that you will not get numericals though there is a deviation but within the range so remember unless there is a major shift in the question paper structure you should not change your strategy for preparation accordingly so don't stop practicing numericals that would be our recommendation on an average you will get you'll still get 12 numericals on an average slightly deviating from it and that slight deviation in 2023 was four questions less but in 2020 as i told you last year there were four questions more than the average also above average number of numericals so that's about numerical so don't get into the misinformation that there are no numericals or less numericals in the gate examination be aware of this point number two with respect to negative marking with respect to negative marking also there has been a shift so if you compare gate 2022 and 2023 the number of multiple choice questions overall the number of questions with negative marking it has increased by approximately five percent so let me tell you about how many questions will be having negative marking let us try to get a stat on that as well if you look into gate 2023 question paper the number of total number I'm, I'm excluding again general aptitude and i'm only talking about the core subject part that is part a and part b architecture part and planning part and the common part so if you include that in gate 2023 the total number of no questions with negative what are the questions with negative marking multiple choice questions only basically only these have negative marking so the total number of negative marking based questions in 2023 paper were 30 questions plus 10 questions of general aptitude i'm leaving that aside 30 questions out of 55 questions had a negative marking in them in gate 2023 in gate 2022 the question paper had relatively very few number of negative marking questions compared to this 5 percent less as i told you it was uh, third 25 questions only only 25 questions had negative marking out of 55 questions if you look into the year before it 2021 
there were 35 questions out of 55 questions which had a negative mark so why am i taking past years again from 2021 year itself multiple select questions a new pattern was introduced before that only multiple choice and numerical questions were asked in the gate paper so as far as negative marking is considered the point which you need to remember is on an average 50 percent approximately slightly lower than lower than that slightly more than that can be negative marking based question so if you look in terms of percentage in 2023 it is approximately 55 percent of the question or 55 percent of overall questions of the core subject are mcq that is with will have negative marking remaining 45 percent there's no negative marking here it is opposite approximately 45 percent had negative marking so there's there's no major shift again which you see over here it is within the range in 2021 there were huge number of new, uh, new questions with negative marking more than 60 percent you can say approximately 65 percent of the questions had negative marking so there's no trend which you see but yeah sure if you look into past three years uh 2021 had the highest number of questions with negative marking so negative marking based questions you can say slightly declined but the average is still maintained so do not think that uh, the question paper is getting difficult or the structure is having a major shift or there is reduction or removal of numerical based questions no such major major changes happening all these changes are within the range bound uh, uh, say range bound uh, deviations only are being seen in the gate paper so don't think that there's any major shift so this is a brief idea on the marks distribution the idea here which we are trying to put out is that don't get into misinformation from unreliable sources get your information from authentic sources or do your own analysis and only then make a change or make a shift or build up your strategy that is very crucial so uh, obviously we at kp gate lessons also don't spoon food you spoon feed you everything we prepare architecture part we don't spoon feed you or tell you what to do we just give you these insights so in this video we are just giving you some brief pointers or important points of information for everyone but obviously for our students who are uh, enrolling into a co coaching program we will give, keep giving you insights at subject level all the all of faculty will be helping you through analysis at each and every subject and concept level as well which is important in the preparation not only learning the concepts understanding these insights to build up your strategy is also crucial so anyways so that's about the marks distribution analysis